you are most welcome back to the channel um, in this video we are going to be discussing about shadows um, there is one of the applications of the rectilinear propagation of light that we saw early on uh, in our previous video I mean so now we look at uh, shadows so what is the definition a shadow is the region of darkness uh, formed when the path of light is blocked by an opaque object such as a stone so here we see the source of light and as the light moves in this direction towards the stone the stone blocks the direction of the light it blocks the path of the light and therefore a shadow is casted right here so there is basically what we mean by a shadow it's a region of uh, darkness now we have two main types of shadows we have two main types the first one is umbra and in umbra the region of darkness is a total darkness we describe it as being total totally dark now what causes this normally this occurs when the source of light is so small compared to the opaque object so if the light source is so small as compared to the opaque object then we have uh, an umbra then on the other hand if the source of light is larger much larger um, let me see if the source of light is much larger than the opaque object then the type of uh, shadow we have is called the penumbra let's look at it in this how do you call it two diagrams so in this diagram you realize that even though the size of the uh, light source seems the same but you see that here the aperture that is the hole from which the light is coming here appears to be big whilst the holes here appear to be what small so you consider this as our small light source while this one is our large light source now in the small case the opaque object completely blocks the how do you call it the light and therefore the shadow formed that is the umbra happens to be completely dark shadow so you call this umbra however when the light source is too much then the opaque object is unable to block the entire light so part of the light will move in other directions and that is why we have region of partial darkness this uh, so this side is our penumbra then we also have the innermost part which is our what umbra so it is fair to say that anytime we are forming uh, umbra then we are forming a penumbra is accompanied by umbra most likely but the same cannot be said when we are forming just umbra so here we've written that from the diagrams we realize that when penumbra occurs it's accompanied by umbra but when penumbra uh, so here I make your pardon here we supposed to be when umbra when umbra occurs there is usually no there is usually no what penumbra yes uh beg your pardon for the mistake now here what do we have here uh we have eclipse as another application of rectilinear propagation of light that is a principle that said that light travels in a straight line so what is the definition the definition says that an eclipse is the total or partial disappearance of the sun or moon as observed on the earth so sometimes the sun appears to be a bit covered and so does the moon and uh, we have a very if you like uh, a sort of sea like shaped form of a moon that we see sometimes that we normally call crescent that is what Muslims normally search for during before they start their fast so um, we are saying that sometimes the sun or the moon may appear uh, to be partially blocked and this is what you call an eclipse when does it okay so normally it will okay when the when these three components that is the sun the moon and the earth when they all occur in a straight line so when they occur in a straight line um, the the sun being the source of light and the moon and the earth being our opaque bodies normally what will happen is that uh, uh, either the moon or the earth normally will block the light from the sun and therefore 
their their shadow will be casting on one or the other so based on which which body casts its shadow on the other we have two types of how do you call it two main types of eclipse we have the solar eclipse in the solar eclipse it is the moon that comes between the sun and the earth so let's see uh, we have our diagram here it's a bit blocked but let's see whether i can show it so um here in our diagram we see that we have the sun we have uh, our moon right there in the middle and we have our earth here so this is a bit covered so we have sun moon and what and earth so when moon occurs in the middle we are dealing with uh, solar eclipse now we the second type is what we call lunar eclipse or eclipse of the moon this occurs when we rather have the the earth is now coming between the moon and the sun so now we have the earth in the middle we have the moon we also have the sun so here we have sun uh, earth and what moon so here earth comes in the middle and therefore we call it uh, lunar eclipse now there is a type of solar eclipse that is sun moon earth situation where the shadow of the moon does not reach the earth so you see that is when the moon is very far away from the earth this shadow this umbra part this part does not really reach the earth and therefore uh, it's difficult to observe it even though it is happening so this type of uh, eclipse is called annular eclipse you see it right here annular eclipse uh, type of solar eclipse where the shadow of the moon does not reach what the earth the reason being that the moon is too far away from the earth okay so we have covered the three types of uh, eclipse there is two main types but a form of solar eclipse also called annular eclipse has been covered this table gives us a summary of uh, what is occurring in solar eclipse and lunar eclipse so it's more like a comparison so you see in one we know that solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes between the sun and the earth the lunar eclipse occurs when the when we have the earth coming between the sun and the what moon that is one two the shadow of the moon sweeps over the earth so for sure if moon is in the middle then its shadow will be casted on the what on the on the earth and um, lunar eclipse however there is the shadow of the earth that sweeps over the what the moon because here we have the, the earth in the middle so it is a shadow that will go to the what the moon okay then three uh, the shadow of the moon is narrow and here the shadow is much what broad the fourth point the eclipse occurs for a short period of time usually five minutes ten, ten minutes maximum or so uh, in lunar eclipse it occurs over a long period of what time so then the final point you want to mention here is that the eclipse in solar eclipse the eclipse occurs and is observed by those uh, in the daytime so it occurs during the daytime then lunar eclipse occurs during the what night time so it's difficult for us to catch lunar eclipse that much even though it occurs much frequently than the solar eclipse i think with this we, we come to the end of our video to uh, the end of we come to the end of our video beg your pardon and uh, so until next time say goodbye don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, see you